five people in the chat. Now, we are going to struggle today a little bit with some connection, I think, we because we are relatively deep in the Kampung. We are at a place called Sarawak Cultural Village. So as we walk around, you'll see a bunch of traditional houses, which is pretty exciting, as well as traditionally dressed people with traditional instruments, because we are at the River Fest, River Fest, <laughs> Rainforest Music Festival. Rainforest so, it's a music festival featuring traditional instruments. So it's a really great place to walk around, although we might struggle a little bit with the connection, which is a bit of a shame because there's lots of cool stuff happening. Now, you might be wondering why my hat is so flimpy today. Look how soggy it is. And it's because Ivana and I, as well as dun, 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 Ken Abroad, uh, we were just in the ocean swimming like fishes. Yeah, we did an island trip in the morning, going to a beautiful uh, paradise looking island here in Borneo. Very nice, very exciting, and the video will be out Tuesday. Now, I want to make this clear, guys, because last time I did this, I did it very wrong, and I misled you guys. So in this Rainforest Music Festival, we have this live stream. We also have a video, a vlog, coming out on Tuesday. Because last time we did this was the Prime Minister's open house and when the video came out, nobody watched it because I think everybody thought it was a reposting of the live stream. Yeah. Oh, so on Tuesday, there will be a video from this place where there's tons of interesting stuff happening and I think you guys will enjoy it. Uh, just make sure to realize that the live stream is today and the video is Tuesday. Separate of events, separate videos. Yeah. Click on both. We still have a lot of Sabah videos coming up, but because we are starting a road trip 2.0 with Mr. Ken. Mr. Ken. And we want to post it up on the same day at the same time so you guys uh. don't need to wait for each other's episodes. So Boom. Uh, we so will so we put the Saba vlog yeah. uh, in backlog. So we've got like 10 more Saba vlogs coming. Mm -hmm. uh, we will put them in backlog, like Ivana said, and jump to Sarawak yes. and then back to Saba. Right. It's a good problem to have. Yes. Too much content. <laughs> Which is actually one of the reasons that um, Borneo sort of reminds me of Brazil. It's just culturally rich and weather's usually good, so every day you can go walk around and make a video. There's a lot going on. Uh, shout out to Backpack Your Life in the in the chat. Uh, here's here's Backpack Your Life comment. Okay. What is he saying? Be careful, Steve is a G. Or what <laughs> Steve is, is a G. Yeah, yeah. Steve is a G. Exactly right. <laughs> Steve is a G. That's a, uh, the the word that he wrote. G H E. Yeah. That means go in German. Go in German. Steve is a go getter. He's a go getter <laughs> who's a G. That's right. That's right. That's what he meant. Uh, so shout out to Casey Liu in the chat. Steve not house today. So yesterday oh, Ken and I were were a little bit house. What uh, was the meaning of house again? House means thirsty. Not I did thirsty. have one beer today, but I'm gonna be a good boy because Ivana no, yeah, and so I and Ken have lots of work to do. I know you guys think it's all fun and games out here, but we have lots of work to do. So. Uh, yesterday we partied up and we danced and we went house house and I will say this cheers in Sarawak is my favorite cheers in any in any country cheers is like this and you're supposed to do it like this guys you do like this you do you do oh ha! and it's actually the right way to do it to say oh for like five six seconds so it's uh, really nice uh, cheers especially for a festival it's kind of yeah. you know it, it captures the moment sort of indicative of the vibe of festival is chanting for cheers oh, sort of nice shout out to casey lu in the chat shout out to we fung some oh, members we fung is sarawakian although she has not spent much time here she was born uh so we are exploring sarawak boom ba boom 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 so shout out to the adventure sum what's up guys how was the party yesterday the party was really nice i will say this during the day they have workshops so it's like how to play traditional instruments, how to do traditional dances. It's like uh, sort of educational about the culture and it's pretty tame. There's not much people here. So as we walk around later in the live stream, you'll see it's pretty quiet. So yesterday we got here and we were like, oh, this place is almost empty. And we started making our video and we were like, hmm. And then once the sun went down, it fit with people and full music festival light show smoke show everybody jumping and dancing everybody house i saw some people just sleeping right there in the grass just just sleeping right there <laughs> so it was a full music festival so the party yesterday was really good and it was sort of night because uh during the day was more educational and more slow and then as the sun went down 
So did the eyebrows. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, yeah, the party was good yesterday. There was one uh, comment uh, saying, Steve, show us your t-shirt. Oh. And there's a meaning behind your t-shirt. Oh, guys, we have a video coming from Samporna, which may receive some negative feedback. Just our honest experience in Samporna. Uh, this shirt says, Sekula de Ayer, means water school. And then it says, something de Gurung. Uh, which means something of the mountain. Dreaming. Dreaming of the mountain. School and water, dreaming of the mountain. So the idea is when you buy one of these shirts, the proceeds go to help the stateless children problem in Samporna. We won't talk about it too much now because it's not in the nature of this really happy atmosphere over here. But our experience in Samporna was overwhelmingly sad. And so we have a video coming out about it. We tried to put a positive twist on it and keep it going in some direction. But Samporna is a pretty sad place. Anyway, today we are in a happy place. So let's go walk around and uh, we will show you some really cool, just over here, there's a super massive traditional house. We can go up it and oh, check yeah, around. Let's go up the house. Yeah, it's really, really cool. Yeah. Really, really cool. So Terrence Lee says, where is Global Gibbon? Uh, we met him yesterday. Unfortunately, we met him for like 12 minutes. So hopefully we can bump into him again today because he's a super nice guy. His name is Nick. He's actually got, um, Global Given has the tattoos on his shoulders, which are indicative of Ebon. Yeah. So he's been living in Sarawak for like a decade, to the point that now he's tatted up like a local Ebon uh, tribes person, which is pretty cool. So he seems like a really, really nice guy, to be honest. But we didn't meet him for nearly long enough. Now, this is a traditional house here. And if you guys see, it's on stilts that are like... Uh, oh yeah, let's go over here. Good point, Ivana. It's like a good eight meters in the air. So I don't know if this is a recreation of something that really happened or if they built it more elaborate than they did in the past. Like 500 years ago, did they have this style of house? So amazing. It's the long house of one of the tribes. One of the tribes. One. There'll be a sign up front, but we can go up there and go see. It's sort of like a palace up top uh, or it's sort of like a... Uh, I mean, it's really special up there. It's like a castle almost. So let's go up there and check it out. Yeah. Orang Ulu, yes. Good, good one. There's a sign over there. I forgot which one it says. But Orang Ulu is the tribe. And Orang means people. So Ulu must be the tribe. It's like the Ulu people would be, uh, would be my guess. Bay Fighter Faris says, My friend used to get high on psychedelic drugs at RWMF. Uh, I can believe people do that because the music... So obviously it's a music festival, which means you're dancing and jumping. But the music is like groovy. It's like traditional instruments. Yeah, it's like, yeah. it was like this typical yeah. music uh, where people uh, take drugs. Seemed like a, yeah. but I will say this: the crowd was pretty well behaved. By the way, the road ends here. Oh, oh. <laughs> look at this, guys! They told us if you're gonna do a road trip in Sarawak, you need a four x four. Hey, we're right. You need a four x four and rubber boots. No problem. We jump over here. But uh, the crowd was pretty well behaved yesterday. It was definitely some jumping around and. And this one group, which I forgot the name of, they did an amazing job because in between songs, they would say like, the right side, everybody on the right side scream. And people go, yeah, okay, left side, go louder than the right side. And they go, left side, left side, yeah. And they were getting everybody involved and jumping and it was uh, pretty special, I will say. So as you guys can see, it's even taller over here. This thing is, this thing is 10 meters in the sky. 30 feet, maybe not 30 feet, 25 feet in the air. So pretty special. Oh, can <laughs> Ducking, Ken ducking out of the way. Hey guys, pretty cool. We got almost 300 in the chat, which is pretty nice. And hopefully, fingers crossed, our uh, connection stays good because there's lots to do around here. We can go show you some traditionally dressed people as well as meet some young groovy people who are uh, probably native and got some cool tribal tattoos and talk to them. And there's lots to do. So it might be a long live stream, but it all depends on if we can stay connected. Baby Fighter Free says, shout out to Ken and his fanboy, bracket me. <laughs> you're my fanboy? No, no, no. Me Fred Freeze is your fanboy. <laughs> but I also am a fanboy. I'm actually been on Team Abroad since... Uh, 3K subs? Since 3K subs. Yeah. And now we're at 100K, so... Almost. Come on, Almost. not bad. Almost at 100K, Ken. Um, this is the front door here. And I love the staircase. I'll show you this, guys. This is something special here. It's uh, one log that's been sort of notched out. So... 
quite spooky because you're waving the air and it goes up and up and up and then up here you're in the uh, Orang Ulu longhouse which is pretty cool now we Feng said are you really going to get some tattoos Ivana thought about it to be honest but I'm okay right now I still got my Canada one relatively fresh but uh, Ivana decided against it so we'll probably not get any tattoos this this time although I was thinking about the shoulder ones they're quite cool there's a like a flower that the Ebon warriors put on their shoulders and it's really quite nice kind of two shoulder tattoos but uh, not for me so this is the longhouse now what's amazing is uh, evidently they built this hundreds and hundreds of years ago this size and this grand so if you look at it I mean you're way up here Talk about a good defense tower for any kind of war. You'll see another traditional house. Oh yeah, there's even one more traditional house over here in the distance. We can have a look at the uh, over there as well. Yeah, I can't go over there. That, that one actually has a uh, souvenir shop in the bottom. Yeah. So we can go buy some souvenirs. Uh, it seems like the chat wants Ivana to get a tattoo. What do you say, Ivana? <laughs> what do you say? What do you say? Really? <laughs> Why not Steve? about that before in another video? Why not Steve? Get Steve the, the should... e tattoo right here on his shoulder. Yes. <laughs> Cannot. Uh, one, one, one text said, um, Steve should get a heart with Ren Dung in it. <laughs> oh, that's a good the idea. problem is Ren Dung just looks like a brown slop. It looks like it doesn't look any good, you know? It doesn't have a visual well, you effect. You don't have to, to put true. a picture of the foot and the, and the heart. Ah. Uh, write it. Oh, write Ren Dung. Ah. Okay, okay. I thought it was a picture of no, almost, no, like no. A, almost like a blob of brown, you know? It doesn't look any good instead of a heart. <laughs> But I think, uh, I think no tattoos. Here, Steve. Some of the uh, natives also have um, like... Ah, yes, yes, there. yes. So we've seen this uh, at the festival quite a bit. These are sort of like earrings, but they're more accurately like spacers where they stretch out the earlobe. So we've seen a bunch of people like this. Maybe we'll go back to the tattoo booth. There are some pretty cool dudes at the tattoo booth who yeah. are... Uh, fully tatted up as well as got the ear loops and they're also tattooing other people so they're tattoo artists Ooh, yeah i should say the sun is strong today the sun is out today we got sort of lucky because yesterday was 50 50 kind of rainy kind of nice yeah. and the day before yesterday was full rain so good day for a live stream because i think once the clouds come in the connection goes out uh we've got a question from the adventure sum when are you going to um, Indonesia. I saw the question as well. A couple times. I, I uh, missed it the first time. Both of us are planning Indonesia in uh, in August. Yeah. So I'm going to Indonesia after Malaysia and you as well, right? Right. With maybe a week in between in Singapore. Yeah. That's we'll the plan. Definitely trying to sneak to Singapore as well as maybe even sneak to Brunei. Yeah. There's small countries on the way. It's nice right, to do right. one week in them, so you yeah, get a, you two. get a new country. And then Indonesia, and then we meet again in Jakarta. That's the plan. Cool. Because I'm you're gonna go that. over there earlier than I do. Yep. And then we meet again end of August in uh, we'll, Jakarta, uh, hopefully. We'll warm it up for you. Yeah. We'll get it ready for <laughs> Ken Abroad. That's the, the plan, yeah. So I really thought my hat would dry on my head as I was walking, but I think my head's just getting wrinkly. Can you tell us where, Ivana? It looks flimpy, no? Yeah. I look all flimped out. Anyway, this is life on the road. Doing the best you can. So now we can jump back down this uh, interesting staircase, and maybe we'll go to the tattoo house or we'll do what we do guys because um somebody was asking if we can uh, show some food show some food some, uh, can can food. can we haven't seen too much of it uh we did have one person tell us it's off ride one of our friends was There's like some uh, traditional food on that is there traditional, traditional food house, yeah. the one thing i saw that i think is traditional is um some bidayan food how about mikolok mikolok oh, oh yeah that one too that one is sarawakian sarawakian mikolok yeah the other one i saw is more tribal food mm. Oh, okay, we'll see if we can get some. We'll see if we can get some food. Ivan, you can do it. You can do it. Don't be shy. Can I sneak down, sir? Thanks. Oh, so, oh, much better. Yeah. I was doing only the heel. <laughs> so good. Much better. Thank you. Okay. No thank, you thank you. Thank you. Okay, yes. yeah. Fantastic. Very helpful, no? Yeah. Sideways foot. It's kind of obvious, I guess. This is a <laughs> narrow step, go sideways. 
Look at Ken. Ken putting into good practice over here on the uh, <laughs> on the main steps over here. <laughs> I tell you what, thanks for joining, guys. We're over 300 people. Uh, connection seems good, so I think we'll go around today and see what we can see because there's lots of fun stuff to do in the Sarawak Cultural Village. I think normally there's lots of fun stuff to do in the Cultural Village, but on uh, festival weekend, it's even more lively. Once the sun goes down, all the professional musicians will come. We saw, we saw one yesterday from Canada, actually, which is pretty exciting. It was a Chinese-Canadian who was playing a... Zhang, which is a traditional sort of like a harp that lays down pretty cool thing I don't know about you guys from oh, your youtube videos we're on we're on live stream on live on youtube oh okay great hi where are you from uh, i'm from california but i live in kl I live in cool retired in kl cool so you enjoying the festival yeah so far so good so today today seemed to be a quiet day here yeah tonight if you can stay some of the best bands will be here. The best Tonight. band will be at, at night, here. starting at about 10.30, I think. Okay, cool. Yeah. Okay. Are you enjoying the music? So far, so good, yeah. Okay. We're with uh, media, so we got uh, backstage pass and all that kind of stuff, so it's been quite quite <laughs> cool. nice. Cool. Yeah, quite cool. All right, you, hey, you thanks for watching. You look much more familiar than I do. Yes, true. <laughs> What's your name? Dan. 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 Nice to meet you, Dan. Dan from California. From, no, well, I was born in California. I used to live in Austin, Texas for a long time. Uh, and now I'm staying in KL, retired for about four years. So, okay. cool. All right, nice to meet you, and thanks for watching. Oh, sure. See you. Okay. There you have it, guys. Shout out to Dan, uh, born in California, spent time in Texas, and now living in KL. Actually, it happened a lot of times the past days that people come to us and recognize us. Yeah. So whenever you see us in the public, come say hello. I I really love uh, meeting uh, you guys who watches my videos. Yeah, it's quite nice. I think it's the same for you. Yeah, definitely. So uh, when you see us somewhere out in the public, uh, come say hello. Come say hi, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes we see people looking at us. Yeah. Sometimes yeah. we even see people taking photos of us. And yeah. I feel like, I think this guy knows us, but he's being shy. <laughs> don't be shy, don't be shy. Sometimes, yeah. sometimes people know Ken and not us, and sometimes people know us and not Ken. <laughs> yeah, but 90% of the people know both of us. Both. Yes. Yeah. yeah, I think if you're watching our videos, in the recommended will be Ken and Brad. Yeah, and if you're watching Canada Vod, oh, we'll be in the recommended. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is our YouTube uh, YouTube counterpart here. Yeah. <laughs> so where you guys want to go? We have two options here. We yeah, can go left, left or, right. or we can go right. This is what we came. So let's go this way. Let's go left. Narrow bridge. See what we can see. So nearly 400 in the chat. Thanks a lot, guys, for joining. What's really nice about the cultural village is it's sort of all set up in a big circle around this pond. I'm not sure if it's a natural pond or if they built it or what they did, but it's really nice because it's full of lily pads and it's quite uh, it's quite nice scenery, especially for a music festival. I mean, especially, especially for a rainforest music festival. You've got the mountains and the trees all around and a pond in the middle and it's sort of natural and sort of fitting for the vibe of the festival. So, it's starting to get a little more crowded as you can see. We started off quite empty, but it's getting a little more crowded because uh, it's like four o'clock or so. No, it's like 5.30 or so. And so, uh, and so by six or seven, it'll be full, full. Ooh, you guys want to see the food? Let's check out this food because this is a, uh, this is a nice sight to see. Fresh satay. Oh, looks good. Oh, yeah. Uh, we Fung is asking if we tried Mano Panso. Not yet. Not yet. Uh, I tell you what, the, the satay looks really good, but I can feel the heat coming off the barbecue and I just got very sweaty. So it's <laughs> immediately started sweating. Immediately yeah. Started sweating. yeah, me too. <laughs> so it's hot already, and when you go to a barbecue, it's very, very hot. So shout out to the guys working there because they're probably just sweating all day long. Yeah. Good for them. But uh, as you guys can see, getting quite full. More and more people coming in. And I will say this I'm surprised how many tourists seem to know about this place because uh quite honestly if it wasn't for you guys who recommended this to us we would have never made it we would not have known about this but it seems like it, the word is out because there's lots of tourists here oh check it out this is the tattoo section you guys might like this uh so these tattoos especially here are definitely iban See, Ken is famous. Ken is famous. Ken is famous. 
Oh, oh kid is famous! Kid is famous! <laughs> so cool. So cool, so cool. And jet lag also. Jet lag. Jet lag. We are live. Can you say hi? Oh, live. Live. Hi. What's your name? <laughs> I'm Alex. Alex, nice to meet you. Yeah. So you're meeting Ken abroad for the first time? Yes. And Jet Lag Warriors. Jet Lag Warriors. Wow. <laughs> wow. Two, uh, two birds in one, wait, one, uh, two one birds stone. One stone. Yeah, 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 I got you, I got you. Got you. Okay, okay, let's do the, uh, do this, do the photo here. It's your friend. This here. Uh, okay, okay. Get ready, Ken, get ready, Ken. Okay. Freestyle, freestyle. <laughs> <laughs> good one, good one, good one, good one. Okay, shout out to, uh, shout out to Alex. Cool man. Nice Enjoy to meet you. Yourself here. Hey, thanks for watching. Yeah. Thank okay. you. Bye. Cool, 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 cool. Yeah. Bye bye. <laughs> now, Ivana, if you can remember, try to get some footage. Yeah, good one. So, in our vlog coming on Tuesday, guys, we have a bunch of information coming about how and why and what the meaning are of the tattoos. No problem. And so, Ivana is now, if you see Ivana, Ivana's still working right now. She's got her big camera on her and she is. Uh, getting some b-roll to fill in the stories there's definitely an uh, an indicative sort of style of the ebon tattoo it's heavy sort of thick lines with heavy black and a lot of animals or flowers or a lot of stuff from nature it seems and a lot of thick black so the tattoos sort of stand out like for instance this guy here you can see it's pretty clearly right with those thick lines uh, and you can see his ears uh, really sort of interesting looking. So we did learn a lot about this and we will um, have it in our video on Tuesday. We learned that uh, they start with the shoulder one and traditionally young boys who are Iban would go for an adventure in the jungle, go for a journey and they would get more and more tattoos as they made it to more villages and as they sort of completed their journey. And so their tattoos would actually tell a story from like shoulder to back. It would kind of flow in like a story. So uh, Ivana is doing a good job, still working, getting some clips for our video on Tuesday. And uh, just to be clear, same thing I said earlier, guys, the video on Tuesday is not a reposting of the live stream. So if you enjoy this live stream, you'll really enjoy the video because it's kind of more densely packed. As well as in the video, we make it until the sun goes down and we dance and we party and we house and we really go for it. So uh, you'll get a full experience of the festival in a 15 or 20 minute video or so coming on Tuesday. So what do you say, Ivana? What's up? What's up? Uh, you buy you're gonna get a tattoo? Because they really want you to. <laughs> do it now on the live stream. <laughs> on the live stream, Ivana. Oh my God, no. They're fully booked. <laughs> I asked them. Oh, you didn't ask Ivana. They're fully booked. <laughs> no, that's okay, don't get one. Don't let, don't never fall into peer pressure for a tattoo because tattoo is permanent. Yeah. So if you don't want it, you're gonna be in deep trouble. No pressure. So uh, we'll just keep wandering around and we will see. Oh, shout out to Yathan Afandi. He's a original Jet Lag Warrior subscriber. And Ken Abroad. And Ken Abroad. He's been around there since. Commenting every video for two years. Thank you very much. True, right? Yeah. Yasin is a, is a loyal fan. We really appreciate Yasin. So Caitlin Ping says, any event later at night? Yeah, once the sun goes down, the um, professional musicians will start to play. And I'm not sure how this festival works, if they put the best or most popular musicians on the Saturday or if they put the best, most popular musicians on today, this Sunday. Because I would guess less people can party on Sunday, it's Monday tomorrow. But the, the, the guy from California, yeah, he said uh, the most popular band is playing tonight. Right. But I forgot the name already. I forgot the name, but he did say the most popular band is tonight. Yeah. Which seems funny. Maybe they just do it one day, two day, and the third day is the big day. Uh, but yes, at, at any rate, Kaylin Ping, there's definitely going to be a big party tonight. I'm not sure we'll bring you guys there on the live stream, but like I said, on Tuesday there will be a video out, and yesterday we partied hard. We house, we ohad, and we and we were right in the mosh pit, as it were. Uh, not exactly a mosh pit, but in the dance floor, let's say. So uh, be prepared for Tuesday's uh, vidya. There's some uh, smoke coming out of the stall over there. There's Have smoke over there. Let's go over there and go to the smoke Have section. Uh, Kaylin wants us to go live from the uh, 
music festival tonight. Unfortunately, probably not Kaylin because uh, Ivana be and I, it's gonna be super duper loud for one, but also Ivana and I have tons of work to do and we are starting a three day itinerary with Sarah Tourism tomorrow. Right. So we've got to edit tonight and get ready for a post on Tuesday and then Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, we're going around with Sarah Tourism. So we unfortunately cannot party again. We did our partying yesterday, but on Tuesday we will show you the atmosphere and let me tell you, it is crazy over there. It's full of people drinking dancing, and dancing. Jumping up and, and down. What's really great is at the festival, um, in the main grass area where everybody's partying, you can bring your drinks right there. Right. So everyone's got their drinks on them. Um, there was one particular band who did an amazing job of like getting everybody to cheers, getting everybody to oha. Everybody was holding their drinks in the air, everybody was drinking. Everybody put their cell phone light on and it was full of lights. They really did an amazing job of getting the crowd involved, as well as their music was awesome. So you'll see, um, you'll see on Tuesday, uh, like a two or three minute section about the uh, festival. It was really, really worth it. But no, we will not go live tonight. Hey, it's our friend. Hello. We're live stream, okay? Say hi. Hi. Welcome. Welcome. <laughs> Global Given. Yes. Where's Nick? Uh, he's not coming today. Oh. Out there. Hungover. Oh. Yeah. This is, this <laughs> he's hungover. Hungover. I knew it. This is Christine. Hello. My, Hello, my good friend. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Yeah, this is yeah, Jelly Warriors. Yeah. <laughs> How was the day last night? Good? The day was very good last night. Yeah. So, can we talk about your tattoos again? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, some amazing tattoos here on the leg. Yes, no, yes. This side, this side. This is... Uh, this is a symbol of the elephant. Okay. Yeah, so for us, uh, Iban, like, uh, we do it on our legs so that we can stand firm, stable on the, on the earth. Oh. It's like elephant. Elephant, yeah. It's like elephant. This elephant has a big leg, right? It's like... Oh, can, can, can. Iban tattoo. And it's the same It's the same picture six times. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, do it both sides. Both sides. So more, more stable. Ah. Uh, yeah. So you're... Is there a symbol so you're, six? Huh? Is no. there a symbol? <laughs> no, no. We do, we do yeah, all. four legs, ah. one tail, one trunk. Six okay. and elephant. <laughs> all right. Cool, man. What are you guys doing? Just wandering around, doing live streams, ah. seeing what we can see today. Cool, cool, cool. Hoping cool. to see Nick, but maybe Nick is... No, he's today. not coming today. <laughs> okay, okay, yeah. Yeah. But we catch up soon in, in town, maybe tomorrow. Okay. Wow. Maybe in Pujang we catch up. Yeah, yeah, sure, yeah. sure, sure. Okay. Sure. All right. Good to see you again. Nice to see yeah. you. Yeah. Thank Boom. You. So that is uh, a guy from Global Gibbon. He helps Nick. He's uh, a friend of Nick. So hoping to see Nick again today, who seems like a really good guy, but I think he's not coming. Nick also has a two-year-old kid or two-month-old kid. Okay, got, that was the months. Canadian guy from yesterday. Oh, that was a Canadian. <laughs> Nick has eight months, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's probably what Nick is attending to today. Nick has an eight-year-old, I should say, eight-month-old uh, baby at home, who oh, is. Oh, it's nice here. Yeah, oh, the breeze, nice right? I want to stay here for a second uh, in the shade. There's wind oh. coming. <laughs> uh, there's a breeze over here, and it's quite nice. It is say, very hot today. It might not look on the video like it's a hot day, but it is it's hot day. really hot, yeah. I'm trying to dry off my hat. It's soaked from ocean water, but I'm just sweating so much. It's just staying soggy all day. But pretty good location for a music festival, uh, rainforest music festival in the rainforest. Kind of ideal. Oh, everybody knows uh, Nick's son named Milo. Milo. Do you name it after the drink that everyone loves in, in Malaysia? Milo. Milo, Nick. Milo. No, Nick's son is Milo. They're saying in the chat. Not his son, no. Yeah, his son is Milo. Very cool. Yeah, Nick seems like a good guy. I would like to meet him more. Hopefully tomorrow we can go uh, meet up with him. In uh, He lives in Kuching. He's got an amazing story. He was in school in Sarawak, and he said he was similar to us. He wanted to travel the world. He wanted to go there. He wanted to go there. And then once he came to Sarawak, he said, I'm done traveling. I'm staying here. He just loves this place. He just loves this place so much. I was like, wow, what a good testimonial of Sarawak's uh, greatness or, or allure to uh, ah, tourists. This one is now closed. <laughs> oh, maybe something happened. This was open yesterday and there was a big sign saying five people maximum. Don't go on too many people. And now it's closed. Yeah. Maybe something happened because before, when we first got here on Friday, it was open. And on Saturday, it was five people maximum and on Sunday closed. So maybe it's like, uh, maybe it almost broke or something. <laughs> okay, so it's getting way more crowded as you can see guys, there's people all around. When we got here, it was almost empty. But now we've got some, uh, some people filling in. It's about 5.30 now. Fantastic. What could be better than that? Uh, maybe I will be a little house today. I can go for one more beer. The problem is, Ivana hands me this as if I'm like a, like I'm a, like I'm a teenager playing video games or something. What, what am I gonna do with this? What am I? What am I? A skateboarder? 
Seven up with no sugar. Oh, there's something going on. Hey, babe, I can't hold this. I understand that I am your... I'm in the middle of something, babe. Last night was full of people. And what's really great about festivals is everyone's shoulder to shoulder jumping, dancing, but then the lights come on and flash around. And so it's really beautiful to see everyone's face light up. Wanna take it through wine tasting is definitely? Ah, uh, let's go check. So there may be, if we're lucky, a wine right, tasting. Can, can, can. Okay, yeah, go ahead, buddy. Uh, there might be a wine tasting in there. We were hoping there was a wine tasting yesterday, but they were like sold out. And I will say this, uh, people from, <sighs> getting tired. People from, <laughs> Sarawak like to party and like to drink. Yeah. Sarawak is like Brazil light. Brazil light, you know? Light, okay. Brazil is like full blown. Beaches, parties, the best. Sarawak is similar, but not to the extent of the epic Brazilian nature, you know? Right. Uh, and Brazil is just huge, right? Brazil is a massive country and Sarawak is one state. But uh, Sarawak has lots to love. It's quite alluring because the weather is so good and the people are so uh, friendly. No more wine tasting today, okay. It's only on Fridays. Usually. Only on Friday, so okay. Maybe on Friday, said every day. Yeah, yes. <laughs> bit of a shame. We were we were in this house on Friday and they said, come back tomorrow for wine tasting or even Sunday, every day. And then they've closed it ever since Friday. Anyway, we will uh, we will try some Tuak before before our sour wak trip is over. Because on the road trip, on the road trip we'll get some Tuak. Oh yeah, that's a good story. So check it out. The other day we were sitting here and a guy named Anthony. Maybe says, he's in the chat even. Maybe he's in the chat. Yeah. Uh, we were sitting here and uh, obviously Ken is so famous. So Anthony comes <laughs> up or Anthony comes over and says, Ken I'm proud, oh my gosh. And so we are starting a road trip next week. And on the road trip, we will go to Anthony's place and drink real homemade tuak. Ken will drink it, I will drink it, Ivana will drink it. And hopefully on the road trip, we'll be our friends, the Dodo Explorers who are from Romania and they're in Malaysia now. So five of us will be bumbling down the road like a band of gypsies and then we were going to drink some homemade tuak at anthony's house really nice occurrence shout out to anthony Ooh, ivana has found a little bit of a um secluded courtyard or so yeah incredible yes jurassic park it's the right it's the right scenery for a rainforest music festival you know So in, in the chat, the road trip is being called the Dodo Warriors Abroad. What does Dodo mean? Dodo Explorers. Uh, Dodo is a, is a bird, right? Yeah, the idea of the Dodo... Uh, the Dodo is a bird. I think that. it's not a real bird. I think it's an idea of the stupidest animal. A Dodo is like a stupid yeah, animal. Yeah, stupid bird. Yeah, yeah that's so what I have in mind. I think when they name their channel Dodo Explorers, they're like, they don't really know what they're doing, just going for it. Okay. And okay. just like, just like yeah, you know, okay, okay. giving it a good, honest try. Yeah. So Dodo Warriors Abroad. Dodo Warriors is kind of funny because Dodo means stupid <laughs> and Warrior means aggressive. Dodo Warriors Abroad. <laughs> Sounds good. Oh, thanks for joining, guys. 450 in the chat. And we're just wandering out here. Uh, maybe we'll sit down. I am getting tired. Yeah, but it's probably because... Uh, yeah, let's go sit down. Probably because uh, I went to bed last night at 12.30 at night. I went to bed today, guys. It was, it, was, it was 12.30 this morning when I went to bed. So, too late for my old bones. But... Uh, Come on, can't beat it. When you're in a place like the Rainforest Music Festival, you know, you, ha you have a beer, you know? You enjoy. Because there's a lot to, uh, lot to love. Everybody's out getting their Instagram photos. Everybody's enjoying the pond. What a place. You can always hear, what's nice about festivals too, is over here you really can't hear much music. But you can hear a little bit. Maybe the cell phone can't pick it up. But we can hear a little bit uh, of just echoing tribal noises and stuff. It's very beautiful, very fitting. Oh, Ivana, I think Ivana's got a bench here. You okay? Oh, you look good, Ivana. I love how the bench is just a pallet. Very fitting. Very fitting. All right, guys, looking forward to your road trip. Hopefully you get to stay in a longhouse and drink plenty of duak because we are still in Gawai Harvest Festival mood. Shout out to HP Leg T. Uh, yeah, sounds good. Hopefully we can um, drink lots of Tuac and stay in a longhouse. Sounds good. I'm excited for that. Yeah, so the road trip starts next Friday and then the first video will probably be up next Tuesday or Wednesday week. the yeah. uh, week after. And yeah. And uh, lots of videos. The plan is to rent a car for two weeks. So there's lots of uh, content coming from the roads in Sarawak. Yeah. Plus it could be cool to see um, 
we've got vlogs, Ken has vlogs, and the Dodos have vlogs. So you'll see the same road trip from three different perspectives. Angles, yeah. yeah, that yeah. could be exciting to watch. Mm -hmm. Uh, somebody says, Kaylin Ping says, this place seemed huge or are you walking in rounds? So far we have not walked over anything twice. Although we've almost seen everything. Yeah, we almost run right around. Almost one started. loop around the pond we've done. Yeah. And then when we go back to the beginning, we'll go to the main stage, which we haven't seen yet. Oh, right so right. yes, it's quite big. Although it's not really fully packed. I've been to music festivals before where all of the paths like this are like really packed. And there's like people sitting everywhere and you know, it's still pretty, it's still pretty tame. It's still pretty uh, organized, I should say. So would recommend. I mean, if I was Malaysian and I was living in West Malaysia, I would come here for a weekend, the Rainforest Music Festival, because it's cultural, it's interesting, and it's a good memory. You'll be with your friends, you'll be partying. Uh, right beside the Sarawak Cultural Village is a hotel. Yeah. And we're staying there. Yeah, Damai uh, Beach Resort. And it's really nice. So shout out to Sarawak Tourism for hooking us up. It's a super duper nice uh, place. And if you don't stay there, there's not much around because we're kind of way out in the Kampung. So if you don't stay there, you got to get a shuttle bus from Kuching, which lots of people do. I think it's still manageable. But I would recommend staying at the hotel right nearby. It's like a fancy hotel, kind of expensive, but kind of worth it. And then you have a great weekend. You just chill in the hotel, eat a huge breakfast, lay on the beach and soak up the sun and have a great time. And then at night you go to the rainforest and dance around like a crazy person. <laughs> So it's a pretty good weekend. It's a pretty good weekend. Ken's taking selfies on the side. Wow, multiple cameras here. <laughs> Boom. Hey, Crystal, Ping, Sim, Lee in the chat. I'm still surprised because lately many YouTubers are coming to Malaysia, but you guys are the earliest one I know. Hey, maybe they're following us. Maybe they're just coming because Malaysia's great. Uh, maybe they're coming because COVID is finally over and they're allowed to travel again. But Malaysia should go up in terms of travel. It's an interesting place. It's culturally rich. Yeah. It's scenically beautiful. The food is the best in the world. Uh, yeah, we got our friends here. We got Ken's friends here. Everyone's here. <laughs> it's crazy that we legitimately have friends here. Yeah. Like real friends that came from online, came from YouTube, and now they're like our friends. So, uh, shout out to Malaysia. Please, please give me a shout out. Yo, shout out to F10, F10, man. <laughs> shout out to F10, F10. Be cool if all the YouTubers could do a small gathering together. I'm sure the rating will be super high. Oh, we gathering will. live together, oh, live. live stream. We'll, so oh. Ivana and I do a live stream every week. So certainly next week sometime or the week after, uh, I would imagine there'll be a Dodo Ken Abroad Jelly Warriors live stream happening. Yeah, on the road trip somewhere. Uh, on the road trip somewhere that will yeah. happen. Uh, I would like to meet up with more people. It's so fun to meet other YouTubers because, um, oh, Bay Fighter Faris says, you guys have a six star friendship. Bing! <laughs> Only six stars? I mean, it's not as good as seafood from yeah, James Fish Farm. The, the seafood in your video was seven stars. <laughs> if you try it, you would know, Kim. <laughs> so tell me the place, and when I go to Sava, I, I try it as well. Yo, I really recommend James Fish Farm. Where, where in Sava is it? Uh, Kudat. Kudat. Okay. Really recommend. Okay, yeah. okay. Go there and they'll let you swim with sharks that are as big as a, a, a ocean liner. Yeah, big, as big as a freight same, liner. Yeah. And then you can eat the fish. It's the best fish I've ever had. Okay. It's so good. So first you swim with the fish and then you eat them? Can. The same fishes? If you want. <laughs> okay. Listen, he's saying, I hope you you guys meet a local YouTuber, Kevin, aka Dayak Wanderer. He's actually the one who hooked us up with all this. Really? He's the... He works at Sarawak Tourism. Oh, that's Kevin. Yeah. Oh, that's Kevin. Oh. oh, that's so funny. Yeah, he's the one who works at Sarawak Tourism. He's the one who hooked it all up. So big shout out to Kevin. Yes. And he's also got those and we have same tattoos. Him. And we met him. And he's but he's best. busy because he's organizing this whole thing. Yeah. So he's running around. He's an adult. He's got an adult yeah. life. He's a, he's a professional. He's a good guy, actually. Quite organized and quite helpful. And uh, he's also Ebon because he has the same tattoos. Yeah. Very cool. Shout out to Kevin. Say hi to Ken from me. Hannah Danielle says hi to Ken. Hmm? Hannah Danielle. H A N A Danielle. Ha Hannah. Hello, Hannah. <laughs> Shout out. <laughs> cool, cool, cool. Oh, time is uh, time is flying by, guys. Forty-one minutes so far. Wow. And and uh, and the chat is very lively. Good question from Wee Fung. I wonder what brings all the returning foreigners back to the Rainforest Music Festival. 
Yeah. This would be a good question quite, to ask. We see quite a lot of foreigners here. I'm still wondering how foreigners find out about it. Because yeah. if it wasn't for you guys, I would never know about the Rainforest Music That's Festival. That's true. I would guess most foreigners here are like expats living in Malaysia or they have been to Malaysia before. I don't think that anyone here is a yeah. first timer. Right. Sounds right. right. Yeah, it sounds like, right. Like Westerners usually don't end up in Kuching randomly. <laughs> or right. Borneo, Malaysia, Sarawak. Right, right, right. RC Borneo says, Hi Ken, hope to get to meet you in KK. Uh, we did recommend to Ken to go meet RC Borneo. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's a good idea. KK, the, the main city in Sabah, right? Capital. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Capital. 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 Yeah, yeah. Kota Kinabalu. Hey Ken, are you still going to Sabah after Sarawak? Yes, so the, my plan is three weeks in Sarawak, road tripping with with them, and then I will go over to Sabah. And you go to, to KL, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah we'll, we'll go, go back, back to, to West. Peninsula. Yeah. Hmm? Ken must go to Sabah. Yes. Uh, <laughs> I'm sure Ken will have a good time in Sabah. I think your plan is to get uh, like have your own kind of exploration yeah, solo. Yeah, I thought about renting a motorbike and did a. I did a similar road trip in northern Thailand, just my own bike and driving around. Mm. So I'm thinking about doing the same in Sabah. Just yeah, you guys a, can let him know if that's doable yeah. or. And where to go? Yeah. I think you'll have a good time, dude. Yeah. The people are very friendly, um, and the country is really beautiful. The, the state is. I think you'll have a good time. So the idea is three weeks in Sarawak and then three weeks in Sabah. That's cool. My plan. Sounds good. Cool. I dig yeah. it, man. I absolutely dig it. All right, let's get, keep walking over there. Let's go to that big one there that has the... Uh, Shop. Oh, let's go to the main stage. Let's show people the main stage. Because I think people don't realize that it's a huge, proper stage. There must have been, Ivana or Ken, estimate how many people were watching that show last night. Like, how many at people... The, at fit? the main stage? Yeah. Oh, I don't know. It's more than a thousand. I know it's they have... One and a half, two thousand. Two thousand? Yeah, the one and a half, two thousand. The capacity of this festival is 8,000 and uh, I heard that they sold over 5,000. So yeah, so, maybe 2,000 people were there. But you gotta realize, that's a lot of people when the guy on the stage is playing a lute. Yeah. He's playing a sapé and he's got bongos behind him and they somehow remixed the sapé uh, sap and the bongos into like a festival song and everyone's chanting like, oh, oh. <laughs> it's really incredible atmosphere. Stay tuned for the video on Tuesday. You'll get a good uh, yes, Atadao. Yes, Atadao. Good job, yep. Diantiga. That was the name of the good band, right? job, Diantiga. Yeah. Atadao. Yeah, yeah. Yes, they absolutely killed it. We stayed and watched three or four. Is it a local band? Do, do you know if it is it a local band from Sarawak? I think so I think because so. they were making jokes about local food and local drink, yeah. and they were speaking at the very and least they played a at the very furthest Sarawakian instrument. Yes, the, yes, it's yeah. a local band. It's a yeah, local okay, band. Okay. At Adao, uh, it was awesome. They put on a heck of a show. We saw a bunch of good performances. Like I said, the the girl playing the Zhang from tr Canada, uh, a bunch of people playing flutes and Indian people playing Indian music. Was, lots of different stuff we saw, but At Adao stole the show. Yeah. They absolutely dominated. They were they were so good. They were had everybody jamming. Oh, oh it was so good. Oh. It was really good. Everyone's, oh, ha, yeah. everyone's doing Oha over there. Okay, guys, let's go to the main stage and then maybe we can uh, see what we do from there. Yeah. I want to get a walk along the way somewhere. Ken. You want something as well? Okay, buddy. Hey, Ajib Food Hunter in the chat. He says, Sorry, I am late. No problem, buddy. Glad you could make it. Ajib Food Hunter. Hey, shout out to Felipe Irving. Thank you for the donation. And there is a picture. Thank you, Felipe. There is a picture of a cheeseburger on the donation. So I think we should buy burgers with this donation. Burger. Felipe Burger? Irving, Felipe Irving. Thank you very much, man. We really appreciate it. It really helps. Uh, every dollar or every ringgit, I should say, really, really helps because uh, traveling is not free, and it really helps us get around and take care of ourselves. And thank you very much to Felipe. Just arrived at Tiroy Station. Says a Jeep food hunter. Shout out to a Jeep. The original jet lag warrior number three. Ajib Food Hunter. Oh, look at this. We got a little yoga circle over here. Yoga crew. Very interesting. Very nice, guys. Place is filling in. I guess the sun is going down. The shadows are getting long, which means the music will start soon and everybody will be house, house, house. Do you guys want to go in there and try to buy some souvenirs? Not really. Wanna have a look around? Wanna? Ask a chat. Hey chat, what do you think? Go in there and look for souvenirs? It's like a little market in there, like a craft market. 
souvenirs. Maybe. Let's see what the chat says. Oh, I think maybe we lost them. Let's keep it moving. I think we're no no connection here. Let's keep it moving. Let's go to the main stage and show you guys uh, maybe a reenactment of our party last night. We can chant and jump around and have fun. But I hope this live stream will do a decent job of catching the vibe. Because the mountains in the background, the pathways that are uh, busy enough to be action-packed, but not busy enough to be crowded and annoying. Sort of just right when you walk around, people all dressed up in their festival gear, ready to dance, ready to party, ready to enjoy. You've got a maybe impromptu concert happening over here. Uh, these guys are just... This is what we call not part of the schedule. Just some guys having fun. I think they're also artists. Oh, oh I think they're from Saba. Fantastic. Alamaiti. That's how you say cheers in Saba. That's cheers in Saba. Just great. So, as you guys uh, can see, lots of action here. And sometimes the best memories are the things that just happened. I'm sure those guys over there are having a blast. It's not part of the main event, it's not part of the festivities, they just like decided. We heard it everywhere in Sabah. It's actually like a number one hit in Sabah. I think it's like top 40 in Sabah, all time. Uh, really, really nice. So the question was from RC Borneo, how far is this place from Kuching? It's not exactly close. Do you know the distance? 45 minutes was the ride. 45 minute drive from Kuching. Uh, most hotels, the big ones, have shuttle buses set up because a lot of people came here from Kuching and there's already shuttle buses going back and forth. So you don't have to buy a grab or you don't have to look for a taxi or something. They're sort of prepared for the festival. But best case scenario, if you have the money, would be stay at Damai Beach Resort, which is, without exaggeration, less than a 10 minute walk, less than a two minute drive from here. So we've been coming and going back to our accommodation uh, where they have lunch and dinner and breakfast and so whenever we're hungry we jump back there eat a big buffet style uh, Lunch or dinner and actually my friend Ken sometimes eat durian cake by accident, which is quite funny <laughs> Ken had a whole plate full of quay <laughs> and it looked like like a vanilla cake And I was like taking a whole cake at once in my mouth and then it was uh, durian <laughs> So it was uh, horrible. I really don't like durian. <laughs> that was a funny one. Yeah. That was a good memory at the, at the dinner table. <laughs> but shout out to Demai Beach Resort because they've got some really oh, nice get water. food. Yeah, go ahead and get some water, buddy. Can so here's, here's the food tent. No, I'm okay, buddy. You go ahead. So here's the food tent. This looks like uh, sotong, aka squid, being cooked on banana leaf. <coughs> and it's certainly being cooked in chili because I just puffed in a whole breadth of uh, chilies there. So we'll stay back here for the rest of the uh, food tent showing. Uh, what's nice is the screen way down there will play uh, what's on the main stage. So if you're too hungry or too sleepy or you want another beer, you come back here, you grab your beer and you can still see the main stage. Uh, there's a bunch of food happening as you can see. Uh, lots of people around and everybody's sort of enjoying. And it's really a good mix of Malay, Chinese, tourist, Indian, native, Karazan, Iban, Orang Ulu, you name it. So everyone is sort of out and about and mixing in sort of awesome. And so last night in between concerts, we'd come here, we'd grab another beer, we'd watch the screen board down there. And, uh, and it's just, just nice so 465 in the chat thank you very much for joining everybody we really appreciate it the sun is just going down here so maybe while we still have light we can show you the main stage and then after that maybe we'll let you go shout out to wee fung in the chat oh, thank you Boomba. what does it say what does it say fist bump fist bump for wee fung <laughs> fist bump wee fung fist bump wee fung thank you got it thanks wee fung it really helps so 470 in the chat. Let's see if we can push it over 500. That'd be cool to hit 500 in the chat. That would be special. But it's uh, night and day how different uh, the walkways are now. I guess actually quite empty over here. But this is kind of the far corner from the main stage. But as you can see over here, um, way more people than an hour ago when we came. When we 
came, it was quite quiet. And actually, our vlog coming out on Tuesday should be kind of funny because the first thing we said when we got here was like, whoa, it's so empty. And then three hours later, we're like, what a party! <laughs> so it was uh, quite the change of pace. Uh, buying beer for Ken and Steve. That's what they're, oh, oh. The, the donations, I think we're buying beer. No problem, after the vlog, after the live stream, we'll grab some beers and we'll get to editing. <laughs> Vona and I are back on the grind. We've got a three day itinerary with Sarawak Tourism. And then right after that, we start the road trip. So we are gonna be uh, Go Go Gadget editing. Yeah. Go Go Gadget camera fingers. Okay, let's go to the main stage because the um, sun's going down and we're gonna get dark. Main stage, this way. Yeah. Got it. I remember things. I remember things. So this is the uh, Orang Ulu Longhouse. We were in... Uh, at the beginning of the live stream. Oh, oh. finish the pandan cheesecake lapis. It can try. Uh, Casey, you. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> so excited! I'm so excited. <laughs> I knew that you guys are coming to Sarawak. Like, yeah. Ken, like, uh, like, uh, like, <laughs> What's your name? What's your name? Andrea. Andrea. You're Thank live you for on watching. YouTube. You're live Welcome on YouTube. to Kuching. Wow. Sarawak. Yeah. Yes, you are, huh? okay. You're live, right? yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> this is my friend from Bintolo. Uh, I'm so excited. Uh, you guys are here. Yeah. Like, <laughs> Are real? <laughs> we're real, we're real. <laughs> Hi, welcome to Sarawak. <laughs> yeah, I want to take a picture. Can I? Yeah, can, oh, can, of course, of course, you. of course. This is so cute. So you're from Kuching? Yep. And very nice. Is it your first time at the festival or you come yes. every year? First time. First time, like it's been two years after the lockdown. Like, oh. I, I, I make it a promise to myself and my friends too. Like this is my first night here. I bought a ticket. Yeah. Mm. Mm -hmm. For today only. <laughs> Good one. Yeah. Ready to party. All right. Let's good take one, a good one. Okay, let's take a selfie. Starting soon. Let's yeah. take a, yeah, party starts soon. Let's take a selfie for, uh, what's your name again, sorry? Andrea. Andrea. Andrea, let's take a selfie for Andrea. Ivana. Ivana, yeah, yeah, yes. I don't mind. So nice. Okay, let's get, a, let's get a selfie going. Oh my God. Ken's doing a selfie? Oh, Fantastic. selfie, okay. Oh, I'm doing a video. Oh, Ken's doing oh, a video, I'll do a selfie. Oh, Who's yeah. taking a selfie? Okay, we'll do the selfie, we'll do the selfie in the live stream, okay? okay. Live stream yeah, selfie. Welcome okay. to Kushimi. I'm gonna take pictures of your back. Can, can, can. Take photo, take photo. Okay. Fantastic. Okay. Okay. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay, sun in my eyes. I think I look funny for that photo, but no problem. Thank you. No problem. <laughs> Thank you very much. I feel so flattered that you're so excited to meet us because we're just we're just regular people with a GoPro. Like, she even watches my videos from Germany. Yeah. Wow. wow. And when I went to KL the other day, I was like, oh, that's that's the that's the bar, the, the, the cafe that you went to oh. the first night when you dropped your wallet and you guys went to our bang's place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and you look so gorgeous. I, I think you look gorgeous in uh. your Malay. Yeah, the oh, baju yeah. Malay. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Wow. Thank you very much. Wow, thanks for watching, Andrea. Well, what's yeah. your name on YouTube? So when I see you in the comment section again. Hi, I'm hi. Hi. Like hi, H. Like I'm hi. <laughs> hi, I'm oh, I've seen it. Yeah. Yes, yes. So yes, how are you writing it? H. Hi, I'm hi. hi. Like H I G H. I'm hi. 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 Thank you so much. Awesome. <laughs> good, good to meet you, Andrea. Yeah. Shout out to Andrea. Oh, huh? Yeah, yeah. Give her a hug. Give her a hug. Oh, so nice. So nice. Thank you so oh, much. Oh, so nice. So nice. So nice. You got that. You got that. I got that. You got that real. I'm real. I'm real. I'm real. Give her a hug. Give her a hug. Say hi to the Chinese girl that. To Jesslyn. To Jesslyn. Maybe, maybe Jesslyn is watching, I don't know. Yeah, hi Jesslyn. <laughs> Enjoy your ticket. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Like yeah. Again. <laughs> Everybody needs help. Okay, bye. Awesome. Yeah. You're the best, Andrew. Yes, welcome. Yes. It was really a pleasure yeah. meeting you. Yeah. Subscribe more. <laughs> Thank you. Bye. Shout out. Shout out to... Uh, oh my gosh. Oh, wow. that shout out to Andrea. <laughs> Just genuine positivity, happy person. That was a pleasure. That was really my pleasure meeting Andrea. Yeah. That was really my pleasure. Uh, uh, oh, so funny. Now the chat is going crazy with jealous, jealous, jealous subscriber alert. 
I think they're jealous of uh, getting to hug Ken abroad. <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, big thumbs up to Andrea. Super sweetheart of a lady. So genuinely happy. And she said, can I give you a hug? Oh, so nice. Oh, that was cool. Now, before Andrea came, uh, Casey Liu said, did you finish the cake of peace and did you offer any to Ken? We've eaten half of it what, and we did, we'll not, it we did not offer any to Ken because it's really good. And <laughs> we thought talking about? Uh, Casey Liu gave us a really nice cake lapis. Oh. I'll bring it to dinner. Uh, it's like, it's, so it's cheese can. and pandan, green and yellow. But you still have it? Uh, well, we were hoping to not, we we're hoping you wouldn't know we had it because we could eat all of it. <laughs> but now that you know we have it, we're going to offer you some. <laughs> but uh, I mean, he gave it to you last week and it's still good? Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Well, a couple days ago. Only only three days ago he gave it. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, when we got here. All right. Uh, it's very, very good. So we'll give you a piece. Uh, oh, another chat's going crazy. Oh, poor Ken. No, no, no kick la piece for him. <laughs> Why didn't you offer no, Ken any kick la piece? I'll bring it to dinner. I still have it. We didn't finish it all. Yo, every time we have dinner in the hotel, Ken gets a whole plate and stacks it this high with quay. <laughs> so I'm like, this guy doesn't need more quay right now. Really? Come on. The thing is, like, usually I never eat sweet stuff, but when I'm in a hotel and there's a free buffet uh, of lots of kui, I have to take advantage of it. Fair, 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 fair. <laughs> Yeah, the buffet is quite nice at our place. So full dessert, full breakfast, full everything. Oh, there's a shot for you. Ken, you should be a vlogger, buddy. Good eye. How beautiful is that? Oh, I see the Dodo Explorers in the chat. Yo, Dodo, hurry up. Come to Kuching. Come to Kuching already, Dodo. Oh, we have a lot of ants here. Whoa, oh. <laughs> All the, all the ants. Oh, geez, ants in my pants. Make me want to dance. <laughs> Okay, we have officially passed 500 in the chat. So let's get over to the uh, main stage here and let's see how far we can take this live stream. But uh, Dodo, you gotta hurry up and get to Kuching because- Road trip starts on Friday, so- Road trip starts uh, on Friday. Over. Whether you come or not, you're still gonna pay one third of the car. That's the deal we're, that's the deal we're making. <laughs> yeah, hopefully Dodos can make it because if all five of us are going down the road, Road, it's gonna be uh, on the road again. What do you think, guys? If the chat can decide, should I have another beer or not? I thought you want to drink a beer for every 100 in the chat. Oh gosh! <laughs> oh gosh! It's gonna be a, it's gonna be a sloppy live stream. Five beers. Let's uh, get to 1,000. Let's get to 1,000, and Steve will be sleeping in the festival. <laughs> uh, so cool! I'm still having an emotional high from meeting Andrea. That was really something special, man. <laughs> That was so cool. She's, She's like, so you're special. real. I'm like, bro, I'm real. Yes. I'm real, bro. We were just regular guys walking around with a camera. We are not famous or anything. Yeah. Just, a, so just, just, a, uh, just a guy with a GoPro. Yeah. So this is the main stage, guys. Uh, so at night, it'll be, it'll be live as heck. This is like a little bleacher area. This is all the grass here, and that's the main stage. Now, let me tell you, it is live. It is jumping. It is something awesome. Oh, good donation. Shout out to KC Liu. Thank you very much. He says, oh, great. Hopefully it's not healthy week for Ken. <laughs> this week is not healthy week. Not healthy week. No. Okay, good. <laughs> yeah, it can't be healthy week because he's eating uh, five pieces of kui every dinner. <laughs> yeah, but to be honest, the kuis, they are that small. It's like they make it on purpose that small so you can eat all of them. Yeah, fair. So it's really tiny pieces. Yeah. So I think the instrument we're hearing, I don't know if you guys can hear it. I think it's one of those, um, what are they called? Those big things that you go and you make noise in them. Didgeridoo? No. Uh, it was in Australia, isn't it? Didgeridoo. If you guys can hear that noise and let me know what instrument it is. I think it's, uh, I think it's a recording actually, because there's no show right now. Maybe it's too loud here, I don't know. Maybe, no, the phone is pretty good at <coughs> hearing my voice only. No, okay. I was at the prime minister's house and there was such loud music. I kept saying, can you guys hear me? And it's all said, yeah, here you fine. Okay. So I think they can hear me okay. But if you guys know this instrument, let me know. Oh, Panjang Sagat, shout out. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you very much. Uh, really appreciate it. Yeah. Hopefully you guys can hear me. Hopefully you guys can see the main area behind me. Evidently the main area is the place where you cannot live stream from. So hopefully you guys saw it. Hopefully you guys saw it as long as we can show it to you. But uh, it was frozen for Oh no, we're down to 450 people. We just lost, we just lost 75 people. Oh no. Anyway. Something we are there. Ah, fair, fair, fair. 
Good point. I think I also missed a, uh, uh, a donation because I think I was off. Hello. Shout out to Acha Roy. <laughs> What are you guys watching? This is our friends. Oh, you are on a live stream. Can you go live here? <laughs> Hi. Hi, guys. I'm Hasib. Hasib? <laughs> Introduce yourself. Uh, from Guy Travel Magazine. So, oh, yeah. magazine. Yep. You write and take photo. Yep. Uh, and video as well. There you go. Yeah. Oh, online magazine. Online, Gaia uh, Travel. No. Uh, printed one. Printed one. Yes. But you journalist and photographer. Yeah. Awesome. From? Let me guess. Let me guess. Let me hear I your know accent. Where it is from. Uh, okay, let me hear your accent. He told us before. Where? Actually, he, we met him before at Chandat Sotong. I yeah. don't know if you Squid guys jigging. remember that video from Squid Chandat jigging. Sotong, yeah. Squid Jigging. All and you crowd. also got seasick. <laughs> a lot of great men get seasick. Don't worry about it. It's from Malacca, right? Yes. Yeah. I remember. So true, Malacca. So, welcome. Boom. <laughs> welcome how's, your, how's your experience with the festival? Were you here a couple years ago? No. First time. No, first time. First yes. time. Yeah, but uh, yeah, I'm having fun. Uh, the workshops are amazing so far. Mm. And uh, today is, I think, the best day because the weather is kind of nice. Yeah. 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 The last two days is raining, right? So, yeah. Yeah. All right. The best. Okay. How about you guys? Okay. Carry on. So far? We're doing good. Uh, just doing a live stream now, making videos. <laughs> last night we party. Woo! House. Yeah. House. I, I can't wait for, to, for tonight, right? Tonight yeah. again. Yeah. Party three, day, three the finale. days. The finale. Right. So. <laughs> Fantastic. See you guys soon. Alright. Okay. Okay. Enjoy. Bye. See Enjoy. You Enjoy. Bye. See, you. Bye. see you. Shout out, shout out, shout out. Now I think I missed some some chat buttons here. Let me see if I can thank who I need to thank. Uh dun 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 dun. Uh lie ease. Thank you very much. Very, very helpful. I would have thanked you earlier, but unfortunately we were bumping into our friend there. Oh, Shafiq. Oh, uh, this so is much. the most consistent super chatter thank you shout out to Happy. safik from singapore very very helpful guys please know that we're really being sincere with the thank yous because it really helps it really really helps uh these live streams are so fun for us uh ken was asking earlier ken goes oh, that's a nice t-shirt pandemic survivor pandemic survivor oh, that's a that's a cool idea cool t-shirt <laughs> the shirt said pandemic survivor pandemic survivor uh, cool yeah um but anyway ken was asking me earlier he says uh do you feel like you're working when you're doing live stream? Is it working or is it fun? I said, honestly, the live stream is so fun. I love hanging out with these people. I just joke around. They tell me funny jokes. I try to I try to be interesting on the vlog. It's good training for our vlogs. Uh, and right, honestly, the I fact guess. that we get a bunch of donations from you guys is so helpful and so amazing. And I really, really love it. Also, welcome to AK Solo Journey to the VIP. Wow. Ivana picked uh, up one more uh, member. Oh, thanks so much, AK Solo picked Journey. Picked up a member and a bunch of donations and we're back above 500 scene right now. Uh, people in the chat. Them? Yeah, let me flip this around. I just want to make sure I go through the chat and say everybody's name who donated. I think I'm going to miss some donations. So if I golden did miss hour. golden hour, if I did miss your name, I'm really sorry. I'm going to try and go back and find it, but please be aware that we are live streaming from the phone. And so the phone is also how we read the comments. And so it's hard because the phone screen we're holding it sideways and the phone screen is, you know, four inches tall. So it just goes by very quickly. So thank you very much, anyone who donated. If I didn't say your name, I'm really sorry, but um, just a technical difficulty with the phone and with the seeing people and just sort of a uh, comedy of errors. I Charoy, I Charoy. Yeah, okay, got them all. Said everybody. Thank you very much, everybody who donated. Really, really helpful. Really, really helpful. Um, Ken Abroad Jet Lake Warrior. Wow. Dodo is joining Casey Liu. Wait, what? Golden hour now, right? Golden hour. Yeah. We are in KL now from Dodo. We have Malacca videos coming up on our channel. Then we're gonna see that see the guys in Sarawak. Okay, one more thing, Dodo. You, you've already agreed to one thing that I didn't tell you about till now. Uh, we are going to release all of our road trip vlogs together. We're gonna do a series, Ken, you, and I. So in some way, you're gonna have to make it work so that starting First, next Tuesday or Wednesday. Next Tuesday or Wednesday. So not, not this week, but the week after. Yeah, not in two or three days, but in a week, two or three days, the first road trip videos are gonna go up. And you didn't know that, but you've already agreed to that. <laughs> so that's a non-negotiable uh, reality of coming on the road trip. Please do that with us because... Um, it's going to be beneficial for all channels. If I all think the videos are going up yeah, at the same day. I think it's beneficial for all channels. And um, Yvonne and I have pulled some strings and moved things around to make our videos available for next week. So hopefully you guys do it too. We can have a nice uh, road trip series with many different videos and there'll be lots to do so we can, we can get three videos in one day and not have same videos i think Ooh, nick ajad thank you very much thank you guys very much the donations really really help <coughs> really truly help 
Okay, guys, what do you say? You want to sit down? Yeah, we actually sit down. Let's go back to the main food area and sit down and go have a beer, and then we'll end the live stream because um, I'm, I'm getting tired, and we do have 500 in the chat, which is really something special. Thanks a lot, guys. I really appreciate. Oh, you want to take the live stream to the beach? To the beach. The hotel. Sit there. Oh, that's a good idea. I don't know if the connection will be when we go in the van. Darn. So our accommodation is on the beach. They all be okay. We can take a two-minute shuttle back to our accommodation and then show them the beach. Yeah. At the sunset. I go in the, the sunset. Beach now. That would we'll be a great. We'll just warn them in case it lost connection. Okay, guys, we're still on the line. We're gonna do it. <laughs> okay, guys, we're gonna go to um, uh, the media shuttles. We're gonna go to the media shuttle because these are the VIPs you're seeing out right here. Okay. <laughs> um. And then we're going to get in the shuttle and go back to our accommodation. If the line drops, we'll try to keep it going so don't leave right away. Although, if it goes down for more than two minutes, I think it's a permanent closure. I think we can't come back. So hopefully, we can make it go. But uh, we'd love to show you our accommodation, which is, like, super nice. And the sunset goes right there off the beach. We can get... Uh, we can get some cervezas and really live life to the fullest. Okay, cool. Let's do it, guys. So let's go. The live stream that never ends. Uh, we're at 70 minutes, but these live streams go so fast, man. If Ivana and I were just here at this festival for 70 minutes, we'd feel tired and we'd feel like we did a lot. But with you guys, it feels like we're here for 10 minutes. It feels like we just showed up and then all of a sudden it's it's more than an hour has already passed. Yeah. Also, maybe we can also maybe we can show you the backside of things, the um, staff entrance, media entrance. Exclusive behind the scenes. Oh, exclusive this behind the a, scenes uh, footage. We die you. Authentic food. So oh, this is the authentic Bidayu food, Bidayu, Bidayu Showcase. Oh, that's interesting. <laughs> so they've paid for a stall and they're showing their uh, Bidayu food here. Interesting. What kind of food do they have, Ivana? Yeah, chicken and uh, fish over there. Chicken and fish on the grill, which is smelling really good. And the chicken is clearly marinated in something because it's yellow like that. Almost looks like the kind of color of satay before you put the peanut sauce. Those are big chicken. Those are juicy chickens. Hey, fish. hey, grab one of those and just put it right in my mouth, buddy. <laughs> All right. Classic Dodo Explorers. This is the comment. Yes, show us the backside, winking face. <sighs> Dodo. <laughs> Get your mind out of that gutter, Dodo. Get your mind out of that gutter. <laughs> Yo, honestly, guys, we're going to have so much fun on the road trip. Obviously, Ken has never met the Dodos, but I am vouching for the Dodos. I am saying to Ken, you'll like them. And, uh, They're approved. I trust, I trust Steve with that. They're approved, man. They're really good friends. Ivana and I lived at the Dodo's place for like two weeks. And oh, for the first yeah. week, we were just sick. And we literally did not leave the apartment. We were lying on the couch like, oh, I feel so sick. And they were like, yo, you guys are really great house guests, eh? <laughs> <laughs> but we had a great time together. Uh, I really think the five of us will be a band of gypsies rolling down the highway. Uh, really, really good. And so if you're watching this live stream and you don't know the Dodos yet, uh, I would really suggest going to their channel and checking it out. Mike is a funny guy and Gigi is, uh, well, G Gigi tolerates Mike, so she can't be that bad. <laughs> okay, guys, let's go to the uh, media entrance here and then we'll uh, see what we can see back at our place. I would love to sit up in that restaurant. The music's kind of loud there. Sit on the beach at least. We'll go a little bit on the left and then sit on the... Yeah, yeah. We'll avoid the... Um, uh, on the Underwater, we'll, underwater. Yeah, good, good idea. We'll avoid the music and we'll sit on the beach and we'll watch the sun come down. I think you guys will love it. I think you guys will love it. The road trip is going to be hilarious. Happeningly hilarious. I think Weefung is right. There's going to be non-stop action because uh, all of us will be looking for videos to make and all of us are just sort of people that get along and so we'll all just be bouncing off each other trying to make good videos and have fun and... Uh, I think Sarawak is a good place for this because the weather is good, people are nice, the scenery is beautiful, uh, we can do all type of stuff. I'm excited for the road trip. So the question is from Rojak, is this a yearly event? Yes. The Rainforest Music Festival has happened 25 times. Yeah, this is the 25th anniversary. This is the 25th anniversary, which it actually started 27 years ago, yeah, believe it or not. Is. Because for two years, they, um, for two years, they didn't do it from COVID. Because of COVID, so 27 yeah. years, they've done 25 anniversaries. It would have been their 27th, but because of COVID. But because of COVID. It's their 25th. Exactly. Yeah. So this is the back door area, guys. This is VIP staff only. This is uh, never before seen exclusive footage of the, lucky again with the van. staff parking lot. Yeah, good one, Ken. So every time we come here, like without exaggeration, four, times, four times in a row, we walk out 
and the media van comes right at the perfect timing. So let's see if we can get lucky again. Ah, uh, didn't get one, did we? Not lucky today. Pro tip, don't go too fast on the highways. The roads are not finished yet. Yeah, honestly, guys, we will drive super safe and super slow. Last time I was driving, if you guys remember our road trip in Peninsula, but this time it'll probably be Ken or Ken and I. Um, Ken certainly has a, a license. But every time we get so lucky, every time we come here, the bus pulls up right away. Maybe the it just best. Comes every two minutes. Yeah, maybe it comes every few minutes and it's not special. But it seems like we got the best luck there was. Um, but yes, guys, don't worry about our safety. We will be super cautious. We are uh, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Ken is a responsible man. Woo. They're saying drive safe and don't drive fast on the highways because you might get in trouble. Well, uh, we, I'm uh, legally allowed to drive in Malaysia because I uh, have an international license now. Uh. Yeah, so, uh, so Ken has an international license and I have an English license, which some people accept. So for sure, Ken will be driving. If I also get approved, we maybe we'll switch. But uh, Ken is responsible. Oh, oh. that's a lot, of, a lot of pressure on me now. Well, Ken, Ken owes me one because last time I drove and I kept yeah, us all yeah. safe. It's okay, it's okay. So yeah. it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a. I'm an experienced driver for 12 years. 12 years of driving experience. Yeah. So and right. in, in Ken's country, there's no speed limits. So he's he's a top he's a top speedster. <laughs> that's we, right. we gotta tell him there's a speed limit. We gotta remind him, hey, this is not the autobahn, the what's, Sarawakian autobahn. What's the speed limit here? Over here? Yeah. 100. Where? 90. 90. 90. 90 in Sarawak. Oh. Our driver says 90. Okay, that's that's safe, no problem. We're not in a race anyway. The thing is about us is we know that it's not about the destination, it's, it's about, about the, the, journey. the journey. Right. Absolutely right. That's a pounder right there. That's a pounder right there, buddy. Oh. <laughs> Boomba! <laughs> the Weg is the Ziel, as we say in German. The road is the destination. The road is the destination. Boom. Okay, so so far the connection is okay. Yeah, I was we're nervous. almost at the hotel. We're almost at the hotel. You guys can set your timer. My guess is, it is it's a two minute drive. It might be two and a half minute drive. Somehow in the van, we're getting more people joining than at the festival. <laughs> we're up to 520 in the chat. It's a van really? vlog now. It's a van live stream. Live stream from, live the, stream van. from the back seat. Oh, van. Here comes Dodo Explorer saying, ooh, the back seat, winky face. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, guys, get a four-wheel drive. Oh, so we, we asked a lot of people about it, like local people from here, and everybody said we don't need a four-wheel drive car. Only if you really want to go deep inside the jungle, off the beaten path. Yeah. Which, which, we, uh, which we can't because we don't know the roads. Yeah, and that it's was... actually dangerous to go there if you don't know anything. Yeah. So uh, we should be alright with that. So we should be car. okay with a Perro Dua Alza or something. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, most people we said said if the you want to go. The Ferrari. The Ferrari. Some people call it Perro Dua, some people call it Perro Dua. I call it Ferrari. Which road Best intro. Taking? Which road are we taking? We have no idea. How many roads are there to Miri? <laughs> Miri. Yeah, it's only Miri, one road, right? You go along the coastal way. Yeah. You go along the main road. Uh, is that now the main road? is under construction. Ah. And then the highway. Oh, that's it's even good because highway. I don't like the main roads. Yeah. No, so that means we only the have the bad roads. Internet coverage should be minimum. But uh -huh. That's okay. There's less uh, traffic, and there'll be ferry crossings. Oh. oh, with ferries on the longer way. Oh, yeah, that sounds like an interesting uh, road. Yeah, that sounds really good. Ferry crossings? Yeah. Can. Yeah. But oh, how is hey. the road? Is it okay? The road is okay. Right. Okay, okay. Yeah. Okay, right, so there here. you have it, guys. So I think we'll be okay. Oh, 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 oh. Connection? No, we're doing okay. Dude, 530 in the chat, and we're in the van. All right, let's uh, go Dude, to the Dude, from now on. I think our friend Hasif, you've been okay. all around Sarawak, right? I know. No, just uh, here. Just the time, I think. Oh, okay. just coaching, lah. Oh, oh, just, just coaching. coaching. We're gonna yeah. ask you where to go. Oh, <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm not uh, the right perfect person, lah. <laughs> Have you been to Sabah? Yeah, Sabah, quite quite few times, lah. Ah, so Sabah or Sarawak? Oh, I, I I want to explore more of Sarawak, lah, of course, because I rarely come here again. Ah, yeah. Fair. Be a safe answer. Safe yep. answer. All right. Good job. Okay, let's go, buddy. <laughs> okay, guys. So here is our accommodation. You absolutely cannot beat it. Um, you can see the whole front has got a huge private driveway. Like half the road we were driving on like belongs to uh, the accommodation. Huge front lobby. And uh, we'll walk right through the lobby out the back. And even right here on the steps, or even right here, I can feel the AC. Ah, it's coming right out. It's coming out. Like I'm in Las Vegas and trying to encourage me to go to a casino. Oh, so nice. Refreshing. So a huge lobby kind of feels like I'm still in the jungle in the lobby. I still have my glasses. Still have your glasses, girl. No problem. 
the sunset is going to be good today because I have no clouds. Should be a perfect uh, ending to the live stream. Away from the music, yeah. So huge lobby here. Down there is actually a banquet hall, which is where the um, where the media conference was and where the media room is. So every morning I go there and do some work because they got a desk for me and they got really good Wi-Fi. Now back here we're gonna hit the uh, two of the three pools, I should say. This is Ken's music. Ken feels right at home. So this is the kitty pool. This is the big boy pool. And then way up there, there's another pool, which is up beside Ken's room, which is something special. So right now we're, uh, we're living the life. This is, this is honestly, this is more than I ever could have asked for. When Ivana and I started traveling and YouTubing, yeah. we were doing YouTube for fun. Just a hobby, just to meet people. And then we started taking it more seriously. And then we really just wanted to document our experiences. We wanted to make good videos that, could, that we could watch ourselves. Right. And now we're doing uh, a free trip to Sarawak where uh, where we stay at this place a uh, Super massive pool by the way look at the size of the pool and the shape of the pool. I've never seen a pool. is this shape <laughs> Something special. It's like three circles all attached. There's a bar right there There's a That's swim up awesome. bar as well as a bar over there and our room is right here. We got pool view so uh, really feeling Grateful for this life and Ken is over here dancing. I like the music here. This is Ken's music. It's like he's in a music festival. <laughs> it is a music festival. <laughs> so my point is, uh, jump in the pool. Ken, jump in the pool. Dude, yo, the chat is going crazy right now if you jump in the pool, Ken. Can't Just jump in the pool, pool man. Now. Just jump in the pool. Give me your phone. Give me your phone. Give me your phone. Yo, I wish one of us jumped in the pool. Uh, yeah, soup. I hold the pool and you jump. Let me take my shoes off. No, 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 I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. I thought about it. I thought about it. It would be funny if I jumped in my shoes, but tomorrow I need my shoes. They're not going to dry in time. But if I take off my shoes, it ruins the element of surprise. Then it's just jumping in the pool with clothes on. Anyway, um, look at the look at the pool view here. The MI Beach Resort. You got the mountains behind. Uh, to be here. Um, to be here. Two for two. Jump in the pool. Ken and Steve. My point I'm trying to make is to be here promoting Sarawak tourism in the country we love with Ivana, with Ken. The dodos are coming. This is a dream come true, guys. This is uh, this is something special. I'm really grateful for this life. You know, I feel gratitude. That's uh, that's nice. I feel overwhelming gratitude for this life. Now I look at this. And now we got this here, which is going to be the uh, ending scene of our live stream. Just something special. What a life. Now, I am wearing shoes. By the way, Ken and I, we must be the most Matt Salais of all the Matt Salais. Every day, both of us, shoes and sneakers. Dude, you're on the beach, you bunch of bozos. <laughs> both of us, shoes and sneakers. Yvonne's got the right idea, but Ken and I, yeah, she knows what it's like on the beach. Ken and I are thinking of, uh, I don't know, shoveling snow or something. We're not even ready for this life. That's, by the way, uh, the boat that we uh, took in the morning. We're oh, yeah. Go over to the island over there. Yeah, good one. It's going to be in the videos as well. Yeah. So we were on that little boat going over that island over there. Can you see it on the video? Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, something special. Uh, we Fong says the slippers are the official footwear of Malaysia. Oh, dude! Yeah, last night there was a bonfire that was as tall as this flag. The fire was as tall as this flag. More. And Ken lit it. Ken, and it almost, Boom, and it almost yeah. Exploded. That was cool. That was something cool. See that in my video from yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Stay tuned to Ken's video. Yeah, that was yeah. something cool. That was really something cool you did. Okay, let's go sit down somewhere and maybe, uh, maybe even more. Yeah, right there, Ken, Ken, Ken. What a nice life, guys. And so, shout out to the music festival. Shout out to all the performers because a lot of the music was really nice and super talented. Because the thing about the traditional instruments is there's no coach or there's one coach. It's not like uh, guitar where there's like a thousand different guitar schools and you just pick one, go to one, don't like that guy, go to the one. Uh, if you're doing a traditional instrument, you've got limited options on training and you've got to really stick to it and persevere. So, uh, I think it's okay. No problemo. Nice oh. All right, Ivan, can you hold the phone? Because the way I hold the phone on live stream, my pinky takes a serious beating. That pinky, I need a tripod. <laughs> First this week, uh, right. my, my pinky knuckle is just getting destroyed. <laughs> Maybe you know, we'll I... show them the sunset. Am I getting the... sunburn or is mine just... You, you 
can too. You both are kind of red. Oh no, I'm getting sunburned. Yeah. Am I glowing? My face is very shiny, isn't it? Oh jeez. I am too. I just looked at myself in this live Oh, Masabran changed his name to the crazy Masabran. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh, I'm shining, dude. Yeah, it's the golden hour. Okay, well, I don't know, do I like it? Uh, sunset and then... Let's go to the water. Do you think I'm good looking? Okay, let's go to the water. I gotta get these shoes off of my, and I gotta put this phone down. Even hold, 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 hold. Thank goodness. Okay. Let's see here. Let me just show you guys the sunset. Ooh, hopefully, maybe in about one hour, the sky will turn pink. And you can also do some, uh, what are these called, Steve? ATV. ATV. The ATV right there. Ooh. All right. Ready? Behind the scene for scene, uh, Ken. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Nini, do you guys go to Sarawak Borneo Museum yet? Nope. Once we arrived in Kuching, we went straight here. We haven't explored yet. We went straight to this place. Okay, okay. Dance, dance. Boom. Okay? Uh huh. Uh huh. Didn't work. Fail. Do a dance. Okay, this is the Steve classic move. <laughs> All right. Oh gosh. <laughs> it's amazing that where we came from. When we started, I was so embarrassed on the camera, and now I act like a fool, and I don't even mind. It's a real improvement, you know. <laughs> it's about thirty minutes to total darkness. Yep, soon. Get Steve getting his uh, shot. I mean, uh, Ken getting his shot and Steve. Okay. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> Bloopers video. <laughs> this is what I deal with every day, guys. What well, I deal well, with it. I know, I know. I deal with this. Listen, <laughs> listen. I'm not finished yet. This is what I deal with every day. What a lucky girl I am. Oh, <laughs> oh, I'm not done yet. <laughs> I'm not done yet. Okay, okay. Uh, Casey Lou. Wow. Thank you so much again, Casey. Gonna buy hundreds ringgit worth of cake lapis tonight. Oh. Oh, we'll give Ken your uh, kick lapis, maybe. <sighs> oh, Chow said, uh, gosh, Steve is a good dancer. <laughs> Let's go to the water down there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, hopefully you know, can do some review. Like mm -hmm. it's, it's like fashion, it's 100% confidence. Right. Unconfident, doesn't matter how good you are dancing, if you look bad. <laughs> <laughs> If you're a bad dancer, confidence makes you good. It's all about being comfortable in your own body. Nice one, Steve. You, man. Nice one. All right, Pat Moonang. Hello, hello. How are you? Can you read? No, not really. I can't see it from here. <laughs> Barrio. Oh, Barrio is the Highland. Yeah, someone recommended Barrio to us. Ooh, this is like kind of a romantic place, isn't it? It looks good when a couple walk by. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here's Steve. So? The beach. the beach, the beach, go to the beach. All right. Let's go to the beach, down there maybe. You wanna leave your shoes here? Yeah, I'll leave my I shoes there. Like We're just gonna steal an old pair of shoes, I mean. Think it's safe, guys? Yeah, I think it's safe. Tucked away like that. It's really nice watching barefoot on the beach, right? Yes, absolutely right. I was actually, I was actually uh, surmising about this yesterday. The thing about the beach, if it's a good beach, is it's like meditation because the go a good beach puts you in the moment. You don't think about the future. You don't think about the past. You don't think about that person in high school who broke your heart. You don't think any of that. When a good beach, you feel the sand. You feel the sand. You're actively looking. You're not just, you're not just looking. You're actually admiring the color, the sunset. 
the feeling of the wind the on your face, the feeling of the water. A good beach is like an active meditation because you're right there in the moment. You're present. That's right. True, right? Yeah. Sometimes I say things and I go, bro, what am I, the <laughs> smartest man who ever lived or something? That was right on. That's how it was. It right, no? A good, beach, a good beach puts you in the moment. It's like meditation. You're just right there. Really? That's what I think about the beach. Steve got a lot of quotes today. The problem is, the problem is this. Every day I got a lot of quotes. The problem, the, the reality is most of them are just nonsense. It's true. You know? Yeah, yeah. I, I swing every time. Every time I speak, I try to swing for the fences. You know, I try to say something worth hearing. But um, a lot of things I say are just, just forgettable, to be honest. <laughs> nice weather today, not rainy. Yeah, not rainy at all, guys. Beautiful this weather is, right here. Uh, our fourth evening here now, and this is the most beautiful sunset so far, so we kept that one for the live stream exactly we saved the sunset just for you guys oh so nice oh actually i think you can rent these ski dues in the uh i should say sea dues in the from the hotel maybe we'll try to do that because those things are awesome that sea machine there that's a good sea machine dude that's a uh jet ski yeah sea dew or jet ski same time oh sand oh very soft oh it's very very soft oh oh yeah oh yeah oh yeah oh yeah Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Hello. Hello. Yes. Ken. Hey, it's okay. Uh, taking videos of the sunset. Sunset. Oh. Ken. Is your machine? Yes. Oh, nice machine. Is it for three people? Yeah, three people. Three like people. people can sit there, right? Yeah. Oh, nice. That's a nice machine, dude. That's a good machine. How fast can it go? It can go 50 kilometers. More An hour. That. More than that. Ah. 60. This one can go 110. 110 kilometers. Yeah. <laughs> you mean per hour? Yeah. 115 kilometers an hour. Yeah. Supercharged. Yo, that is so fun right now. That is so fun. Oh my <laughs> gosh, I want to go. Wow. With the sunset? Dude, this is an advertisement for Wave Runner right here. They're gonna they're gonna use this in their advertisement. Find your find your sunset. Let's get a sponsorship from Wave Runner. Let's get a sponsorship. Find your sunset. Dude, what a Wave Runner. Cool man. Nice meeting you. Modified. Oh. Very powerful. More speed. Ah. I love it. Awesome. Good for you. Ken? Ken. Okay, guys. All right, guys. He's going to fire it up so we can hear the custom exhaust here. Like a sports car. Okay, 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 okay. Let's check it out, guys. This is a 115 kilometer an hour capable sea machine. Man, that looks so fun. Oh, yeah. Base. Oh my gosh, it's fast. Oh, <laughs> the fast it goes. Oh my gosh, that looks so fun. He's gone, dude. He's gone. Look at him. He's gone. Oh man. That looks fun. That looks fun. My uh, my friend he says he wants to try. Can you try? Yeah. Can you try? Oh, it's too fast. Too fast. Too fast. Too fast. <laughs> wow, that looks fun. Oh my gosh, brakes, dude! <laughs> wow. wow. Thank you. Thank That's you. That's awesome. Thanks, man. That's cool. That's fantastic. Dude, I'm trying to uh, I'm trying to get a sea machine. If I ever win the lottery, I'm getting a sea machine. Those things are awesome. Oh, Ivana has to go somewhere. Hold on. One of our keys, Ivana, Ivana, Ivana. One of our keys is decharged. So I had I, I had one key in the left pocket, one key in the right pocket, and I had a system to remember which was a good one, but that system has failed me, Ivana. I have forgotten. Okay, Ivana's gonna run to the room to go to the bathroom. Ken and I are going to enjoy the sunset with you guys. And uh, 
That is that. Okay, let me know what's up, guys. I've been ignoring you, the chat. Let me go through. Sorry, sorry. I've been uh, talking to the guy with the um, sea machine. Rempit at the beach. Right. Exactly right. It's a water rempit. Rempit at the beach. He's right. We want road trip. Enough with the beaches. <laughs> Damn, my beach is so happening now. Yeah, I think you're right. Damn, my beach is, is... I mean, this place is awesome. This accommodation, we would really recommend it. It's got this private beach, which is really nice. You can see the sand is soft as cat uh, uh, bass out here. Okay. Uh, no, it's not as soft as cat bass. I exaggerated. That was a figure of speech. But it's very soft. And then uh, what I really like about this beach is the mountain in the background. It really is a rainforest beach. Which is really something special. Waiting for the pink sky. Yeah, Sabron, it's coming. 10 minutes more, the sky turns pink. Steve and Ken riding the jet ski from Seoul. Seoul. Uh, S O G E Kingable. Seoul Get Kingable. Uh, Steve and Ken riding the jet ski. Listen, if we can pay for to ride it, we'll try that in the future. But I think it's a private owner. I think that guy just owns the jet ski and he's. Um, He's just bringing it here to take it out. Oh yeah, I think so. This is his trailer right here. He just probably drove his truck down here. His truck on the ramp, and then he just drove it here. I thought it was part of the um, resort, which case we could ask to pay for it. Because the ATVs are part of the resort. But, uh, shout out to that sea machine. Oh, pretty soon it's gonna be pink, guys. I'm telling you, if I ever won the lottery, I would get a boat. I'd get a boat, yo. I would get a boat so big that you could Take the sea machine, take this thing, and put it on top and, of the boat. Yes, park it on the yeah, boat. Yeah, yeah, take yeah. the boat out, and then when the boat's too big to go to the whatever shore or whatever, take the take the little sea dude. Yeah. That would be the life, man. Yeah, that would be nice. Yo, we only need like ten times the many subscribers. Then we got it figured out. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, Ivana ran to the bathroom, but the sunset is looking just nice. Um, have you met Global Given? Yeah, guys, we met Global Given yesterday. His name is Nick. Uh, seems like a really genuine guy. Seems like a, a sweet guy. Was quite helpful to us and quite friendly to us. Although we both were kind of busy and so we saw him for like 10 minutes. And so hopefully we can see him again. He's quite busy as well as we're quite busy. So our schedules are not lining up too good. But uh, in the end, we did do a quick video clip with him. So in our video, we showed him out and maybe some of our subscribers will go to his channel because he's a nice guy. We, we, we both uh, immediately liked Global Given. Tata Rick coming from Malaysia, from Yi Danhua. Thank you very much. Thank you very, very much. We will uh, use that money for Tata Rick. Sounds good. On the road trip, you'll see us buy a Tata Rick. Uh, no, Matt Sebron, not pink yet. We still got 10 minutes, I think, for pinkness. Uh, hold the sun between your fingers, says Crystal. Okay. <laughs> Got it, right there. Got it. Zoop! <laughs> Good idea. Here, Ken, go there, open your mouth, we'll put this on your mouth, okay? <laughs> okay, okay, that's better, that's better, that's better. The mouth is gonna be a little bit hard. Okay, okay, don't move, don't move, don't move, don't move. <laughs> Got it, right there. Oh, 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 no, I missed it. Got it right there. Screenshots. Ding, screenshots, screenshots. Tag me on Insta, tag me on Insta. Bing, bing, bing. <laughs> Good one, buddy. Good one. Put it in the heart, put it in the heart. Good idea. Yeah, yeah, even better, even better. <laughs> it looks so bad. It looks so corny. It's so funny. <laughs> oh, that was so corny. That was, that was, uh, it was funny, but it was a bit corny. Somebody just asked, uh, where is this place? Uh, we are in uh, Sarawak in uh, Borneo, Malaysia, a little bit north of Kuching. So uh, over there, at the end of the ocean is uh, should be Vietnam. The end of the ocean there. Yeah, Vietnam. Yeah. So this is the I guess the South China Sea. So over there yeah. should be Vietnam. Yeah. Yes, yeah, right. And then if Vietnam is there, that means Peninsular Malaysia is somewhere over there. Yeah. And that means over here you got like Sumatra, and then over here you got Java, and then over here you got like Sulawesi, and then over here you got the Philippines. No. It's loud, right? <laughs> That's great. Okay, guys, sun is going down. You want to stream until the sun is gone? Uh, I think maybe. The I think maybe we'll end it now. 
Or should we wait for a better sunset? Well, the sunset will be in like 10 minutes. Okay, wait for the sunset. Right. But I don't have much more to say, and I'm just kind of enjoying hanging out with you we guys. We can make a, like a quick uh, end time question round. Yeah, let's do a Q&A, guys. Let's, let's find somewhere to sit. Somewhere. Let's sit on there, maybe the... Yeah, yeah. Let's sit there, and we can do a Q&A, because I've fully ran out of things to say, and at this point, I'm just... I'm just... Uh, some, uh, some questions about the road trip or whatever. Can, can, can. As my dad would say, right now, what I'm doing is called diarrhea of the mouth. <laughs> <laughs> So uh, if you guys have any Q and answers, uh, I, or I should say just the Qs, we'll do the answers. But if you, if you guys have any Qs, uh, we'll have the As. And, and we can um, talk to you for 10, 15 more minutes as the sun goes down. I'm trying to... Okay, got it, got it, got it. Stephen can Q and A Stephen at the Ken. sunset in Borneo. What could Very be nice. better, as you would say? Our skin is red, dude. Yeah, we've been uh, out on the islands in the morning and uh, I didn't put sunscreen on my face, to be honest. Yeah, neither did I. <laughs> I thought this hat would do the trick, but it got very wet and it got very Ooh, soggy. Really? And now Ken and I are just a couple of lobsters out here. But it looks more wet because the sun is shining against our face now, so... True. Should be alright. True. Man, that sea machine makes me want to uh, get one. He's just driving in circles. He's having so much fun. Uh, I heard a funny joke once. It goes like this. They say money doesn't buy happiness. But I've never seen someone crying on a jet ski. <laughs> how, how expensive are they? I don't know, but it looks like fun. $2,000 or something like that? Okay, first question. Uh, you've been in Sarawak for a few days now. Uh, you've been in Sarawak for a few days now. What is your impression about Sarawak? To be honest, we have not left the resort yeah, or the yeah. Rainforest Festival. So we're actually too early for a... Um, for a first impression. We don't actually know much about it. I will say... The roads seem slightly better than Sabah because the road on the way here was perfect. Although it seems similar to Sabah. I don't know. I've been, I haven't been to Sabah. Yeah. And also, I haven't seen much of Sarawak yet other than uh, the hotel area here. So, uh, happy to explore around in the next weeks. Yeah. Okay, hit us with some cues, guys. Uh, Steve, maybe you can get one when you reach 1 million subscribers. Deal. When we get a million subs, we'll do a jet ski party, okay? Sabah and Sarawak are like brothers. Okay, fair. You guys should do a road trip to Telok Melano Beach. The very the end, end of Sarawak, the end on which side? It would have to be, I think, the west end. The west end. Because that's like the ocean side. Yeah. The east end would be like Sabah. Yeah, right. Uh, can. Yeah, let us know if you have any ideas of where we could go in Sarawak. We're pretty much free. We have the car. And we'll just kind of be going for it. So let us know what you might like to see us do. During the road trip, you should try the three layer with tea or coffee. What is the three layers? It's interesting. It has to be three, coffee, three layer milk, tea? and sugar. I don't know. What? Oh. How do you layer it? I don't know. Yeah, we'll try it. Let us know food options. Let us know sightseeing options. Let us know historical stuff. Interesting villages that are just cool. I heard of something called Canada Hill. Or a hill about Canada. Canada Hill. We'll look yeah. into that. Uh, let us know what you'd like to see us do because we are looking for go we'll try a uh, saga worm yeah yeah you tried it already yeah i, I will try it we'll get ken to try it go to the indonesian border definitely yes ken likes places like that yeah we'll do that at least one uh, border vlog yeah indonesia malaysia border will do canada hills and miri yeah when we go to miri i'm yeah. definitely going to make a canada hill vlog I might bring a little Canada flag and stick it on oh, top of the hill or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That would be cool. Yeah, so, so the, the goal of the road trip is to drive from Kuching to Miri. That's the, the goal, to reach Miri. Yeah. And we have like two weeks time for that. So, uh, go to... Kaelin Ping says, Ken, try to go live on your channel. I have been trying to encourage Ken to go live. The thing is, it is nerve-wracking. When, so when Ivana and I started going live, we were so nervous. The thing is, you are always with two persons. Yeah. And I'm not sure if I would like to be alive alone on my own yeah maybe together with you one day can maybe when i reach 100k can 100k live 100k stream. live can 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 maybe. so i understand ken's nervousness because it is nerve-wracking but i think it is helpful because for ivana and i we got so much better at talking to the camera yeah, yeah, when we yeah. started um live streaming because you just have to find stuff to say and work it out and it just makes you more natural um don't forget to bring maple syrup to canada hill <laughs> okay can do can do Oh, 
Okay, thanks for watching, guys. It's been a good live stream. 475 now, and Ken and I are looking like straight up lobsters. Because the sun is shining against us. Oh, the sh because the sun is low, right? <laughs> yeah, the sun is gone now. Yeah, the sun is low in the sky. So, uh, oh, it looks good right there. Nice shot, man. Nice shot. That should be in a vlog. That should be in a vlog. Aren't you heating up your phone during live? Uh, Ivana's got an iPhone 12 or so, 13 maybe, and it works pretty good on the live stream. Bro, this is an advertisement for Wave Runner. <laughs> That's beauty. Look at the size of the sun. Looks like it's as big as a pizza pie out there. You can almost watch it go down live now. It will be gone in three minutes, I say. Okay, let's do that. Let's uh, let's hold it here and we'll try to um, watch it go. Stunning sunset, yes. Yeah, you're right, Chaw. Shout out to Chaw. Been an original... Uh, for two years now. Jet yeah. lagger. Man, what is it about a sunset? It never gets old. What's great about a sunset is the people a thousand years ago also saw the same thing. Exactly. People were sitting at the exact this spot a thousand yep. years ago and yep. saw the same view. Yeah. Right. Absolutely right. It's going. The, the tip of the sun has just touched the horizon, just behind. Yeah. T minus three minutes remaining. Don't forget to try Miri's own burger stall. Oh, I'm always in for a burger. Yeah, you. yeah. D O N D burger. Donned. All right. Donned that's, that's burger. A yeah, that's a vlog. Uh, uh, better than Ramley? Question mark. Oh, <laughs> There's a okay. the title. I'm gonna judge about that. Oh, Don's. D O N S. Don's. Don's burger. Uh, Don meets uh, dusk and dawn. Oh no, that's D A W N. Oh, ah, okay. D O N would probably be short form of Donald. Probably a guy named Don. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's my, that's my guess. Don's burger shop. There it goes, guys. Halfway down. Oh no, a quarter of the way down. Watching you guys from Kuching. Hope to meet you oh, in that's Kuching. Around the corner. Yeah. So Ivana and I, for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, will be with Sarah Rack Tourism. We've got a long house to go to and a couple other videos to make with them. Can can can. So let's do can said let's do the sunset with us in it. Yeah. So there you go, guys. Much better now. Like one minute left of sun today. Yeah, nice. And then another day is gone. Boomba. <laughs> what a nice weekend we've had. In terms of first impressions of a new uh, state, really nice. We came right to a festival and we were uh, sponsored by the tourism people. So it's been a great first impression. Yeah. And honestly, first impressions matter in new countries or new states. If you get up to a bad start, you feel like, ah, Ivana's it's quite back. terrible. Ivana's back. Can you say the closing out words, Ivana? We got a few minutes left. Although with this camera, the sunset looks horrific. Yeah. Oh no, it's better, I think. Yeah, the sunset. Wow. Yeah, we want to watch the sun go down light. Huh. Like Ivana, do me a favor. Uh, do me a favor. Hold the camera and see if you think the sunset looks good while we're in it. Okay. The front camera looks all white. Yeah, it looks very nice. It's orange. Nice. Yeah, it's orange. yeah. Ooh. Thanks for watching, everybody. What a life we live. I remember uh, twice already. Twice in Jet Lag Warriors history, I quit vlogging. <laughs> <laughs> That's how it was the first time. The second time was in Peru recently. Uh, Peru, I was I was just about finished. The first yeah. time was on our road trip in Canada. Mm. Ivana and I were on a road trip across the United States in Canada, and nobody was watching, like 15 or 25 views. And we were living in a vehicle. We were like homeless people living in a truck. <laughs> That's true. And we turned around one day and we drove an hour back, no, like an hour and a half we drove back towards Canada. Because I had quit. Oh, it's getting smaller and smaller. Bye bye. There it goes. Bye, table. son. <laughs> See you okay, again I tomorrow. Happy that we didn't quit vlogging. Didn't quit. Yvonne talked to me about it. We drove an hour job, and a half Yvonne. back to Toronto, and then we said, ah, let's just sleep on it and start the morning again. Make some more videos. And in the end, it worked out. So, thanks for watching, everybody. My heart is full because of your viewership. Aww. My life is full. I feel, I feel like I have a whole life, right? <laughs> I feel satisfied with life and I love you guys and thank you for watching and hiya! Okay, see you guys. See uh, you again. Later skater. Tuesday there's a video coming and it's not the repost of the live stream. It's a new video. Yeah, it's but off the festival and our hotel and our island trip and really nice. Anyway, bye guys. Later Thanks skaters. for hey, watching. How do you tell the difference between an alligator and a crocodile? <laughs> a crocodile you see in a little while. <laughs> but a little later is when you see an alligator. Oh. <laughs>
<laughs> oh, that's a good ending. <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> wow. Oh gosh, Steve. I hope you don't have your passport in, that, oh. in those fans. Oh gosh. The thing is, Steve is like this all day. Not only on camera. He's yeah. literally like this the whole day. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> Uh, traveling with Steve is uh, quite fun. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> now he's regretting it already. So? <laughs> <laughs> mm. You're still alive. Still alive. Still alive. <laughs> well, that was a big finish. Yeah. Good one, Steve. That wasn't the big two minutes before the finish. All right. The thing was, when you guys in the chat said, jump in the pool, jump in the pool. I was like, man, that's a good idea. I wish I did that. So I had to. All right. Back. Okay, bye, bye, everyone. Later. Thanks, guys. Bye.